Hello folks, welcome to um, Richard Plays Kerbal Space Program. It's it's a new game that I've just bought. I've, I've been playing on it a little bit, uh, but I thought I'd make some videos and, 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 and we'd chart our progress as, as we try and reach, you know, the stars. Um, so I've had a little play already. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I've done. Um, but I've decided now things are going to start getting serious because all, all I've done so far really is um, is launch a, a a satellite into orbit. Um, I'll, I'll show you that, shall I? I'll, I'll show you what I've achieved. Uh, it, it's it's taken me about 20 hours of playtime to do it, but there it is. There it is. Uh, Richnik Mark 15. Um, that's not because it took me 15 attempts on us. It wasn't a disaster or anything like that. Oh, but there it is. Look at that. Look at it. Just peacefully orbiting, um, well, planet Kerbal, but we'll call it Earth, shall we? Just peacefully orbiting the Earth, and um, yeah, it took me 15 attempts. 15 attempts. 15 hours of, of work has gone into making that. But you know what I thought? I thought it's maybe about time. That I started launching a manned space program. You know, no one's interested in, in in satellites just orbiting around. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start building a rocket, a rocket that I am going to send these little fellas here into space with. God bless them. They don't know what's coming. Um, so let's let's begin. Let's begin. I've got a Mark III com cockpit or a Mark 1 slash 2 command pod. Um, 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 I'm gonna, let's, let's start with a Mark 3, a Mark 3 cockpit. I think, I think that's what we want. That's what we're going to go with first. We'll just send one little fella to his death because, you know, a lot of them are going to die. Let's, let's, let's not beat around the bush. A lot of these little chaps are going to die. Um, so there we go. There's there's the start. We've got a cockpit. Um, we need. Uh, <laughs> I don't really. I see. I haven't really followed any sort of tutorial tutorials on how to do this. I watched a few videos of people doing it, um, but that's not really. You know, that doesn't really give you good, real good guidance on how to do. It. I think what a cockpit needs for starters is some kind of propulsion. This this is going to be our lander. When we land on the moon, it's going to need something to sort of propel it about. So let's give it a nice big fuel tank like that. Is that, is that what it wants? That doesn't look doesn't look great. All right, no, no. We'll give it some maneuverability. Ooh. We'll give it some maneuverability. Uh, that's an RS, an SAS module. That means it can um, sort of you can use thrusters and, and, and fly it about. I've, I've learned how to do that. That's you know that's 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 a, a step forward. That's progress. Now we'll need some thrusters. So where are we? Let's get let's get some thrusters on. Uh, we'll 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 whack them on lots of different sides, shall we? There we go. So that means we can we can oh, so that they don't look that well stuck on there. I don't know about you guys, but look at that that doesn't look right. Put them on here. There we go. That's better. That's right. We can we can now thrust things about in space. Um, then we'll need a fuel tank. I think we'll need a big fuel tank for this to sort of fly around with. Uh, what have we got? Mm, that's probably a bit too big. But no. Oh, we only want one of them. Uh, let us use this one. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Um, and we'll maybe give it some little ones on the side, shall we? Oh god, how do we connect those? I don't even know. Um, <laughs> um, let's have a look. There must be something I can use. Attachments or something like that. Structural pylons. Yeah, they'll do. We'll whack a few of those around, shall we? Like that. And, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll put some, some little some little sort of fuel tank tanks on, on the side like that. Uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. And, oh god, that doesn't work at all. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to address that. That's maybe the wrong cockpit to use. Um, this one, let's use this one. 
There, that's better. That works. That works. Um, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm assuming people can get out of that. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So we'll need some sort of engines, I think, on, on these little engines, maybe. Um, it's not a little engine. What do we want a, a little engine with with a limited amount of thrust. Because, you know, we're going to be landing on the moon, so it's, it doesn't need to have a lot of thrust. What max power 60. What have we got here? Max power 120. <gasps> Do we use this? Oh, maybe I should have whacked those on the side rather than these big fuel tanks. Ah, doesn't matter. We'll see what happens, shall we? Oh, God, because they're massive. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> we'll be able to land. All right. Okay, we'll remove this. And we shall remove these. And we'll just whack four of these on like this. There, that's all it needs. That's all it needs. Um, oh, it needs some landing struts. That's what it'll need. It'll need some of those. Oh, God, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm floundering. Where are the landing struts? Where are they at? Let's have a look. Um, landing gear, landing gear. Oh god, it makes still up a man seed. That looks uh, pretty amazing. Is it structural? Aerodynamic, perhaps? No. Though we, we will need some sort of tail fins and things like that. We want a decoupler? No, no. We will need a separator though. We will, we'll want a large one. Oh god. No. Jesus. Ah, there we go. So that means we can now separate it. Because um, we'll obviously need a big rocket underneath to sort of to, to push it all up and everything. Uh, utility. Landing struts. This is what we want. And we'll, we'll whack those on there like that. Uh, we'll maybe need some ladders for the wee fellas to get out of. Now, I don't know where the actual exit hatch... Ah, here it is. So let's just... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll build some ladders down like this. Oh, what's going on here? No, I don't think we need ladders on all sides. We just need ladders on one side. Right. And we'll snap on. No, no, no. We'll just build ladders all the way down. Because, you know, it's a big climb. It's a big climb for the wee fellas to get up onto. Let's make sure they can get off. Oh, that's not quite right. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I'm not the best rocket engineer. I'm not going to lie. It's not really my forte, to be honest. <laughs> I'll probably speed this up so you guys aren't stuck watching me struggle. <laughs> um, right, there we go. Let's uh, whack on some lights, because everyone likes lights. Uh, where are we going to put these lights? Oh, it's getting quite busy. My ship's getting quite busy. Like that. Oh, we're going to need some like thruster fuel bollocks. Forgot about that. All right. Separate that. We'll get some thruster fuel. Some thrust of fuel. Uh, that's yes, that one. Oh, that one. This is the better one. Walk out on there like that. Boom. And so that means now that we can um, sort of power 
our ship. Oh, and that's like some batteries as well. We need a little battery pack. Um, we're going to need a parachute as well for when, for when it's sort of good. So we're going to need a parachute as well for when it comes to land. Um, let me just sort that out. Oh no, it's going to need a big parachute. Come on, there we go. So you know, if if by some kind of miracle we make it back to Earth, we'll uh, we'll use that sort of parachute there to to get our little fellas sort of uh, safe safely down to land. And let's face it, they're not going to get safely back to Earth. This is this is a one-way mission for the uh, for these aliens. They need to accept them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that. I think it's going to be a difficult rocket to get off the ground. <laughs> oh, no. Right then, right then. So next comes the, uh, the, the actual rocket stages of... These are the, this is the stuff we need to use to actually get this thing into space. So we need a massive fuel tank, that'll do. Whack on on there for good measure. Um, we'll need some decouplers to start sort of uh, to start sort of being able to separate different engines because it's going to need more than this central one to get into space. It's going to need loads. Oh God, I can never. I, I'm, I'm completely lost on this. I never remember where things are. Ah, this is what we want. Uh, let's have four. We'll have four massive fuel tanks again, like that one on the side. Um, let's see. Oh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? Why doesn't it want to attach those? God damn it. Are they the wrong kind? They might be the wrong kind. Let's have a look. Let's see. These ones. They want to touch these. Oh. 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 Yes. I'm pretty sure they're attached. Yes. They are. They're attached. For all I care, they're attached. Um, and uh, let's match this again. Let's see. Just we need to just because we need that extra. Oh, why went? Oh Jesus. Right. Yeah. Because we need that extra bit of fuel on the bottom. Uh, we're going to need some massive engines on these. Uh, a mainsail, where is it? That's the one. Put it on there. And we'll have four of them on here. Boom, like that. That's going to get us right up into space. Right up into space. Um, we are going to need some... Uh, like support struts, maybe? Is this... Let's have a look. Is this the kind of thing we need? I don't know, do this on four sides. Ah, yes, there we go. Let's <laughs> turn <done> that. <laughs> oh no, but when I detach those, they might just go all wrong. Um, no, we will we'll, we'll attach these onto here like this. Yeah, like that, like that. And and under here, well, just to make sure it's all nice and stable. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's great. That's great. Um, we are going to need some fuel pipes to keep that central tank fueled. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What can we do? Um, fuel pipes. We need fuel pipes. Where are they? God damn, let's get him. Propulsion, maybe? Maybe some propulsion. Ah, there we go. See? Pretty sure that these. From the, on the videos I've seen, everyone seems to connect their pipes up to the main one, just to keep that main one fueled. Um, it means these run out a bit quicker, I think, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, aerodynamic. Let's uh, have... What? It really doesn't want to... I just wanted to make it look nice, but it doesn't, it doesn't want to have a go. It just just doesn't want to have a go. 
silly. Um, let's get some structural wings on then, shall we? That means that, you know, we can at least control it a little bit. Um, and then we'll get some on the side there like that, so that as it's going up, we can control it. We, we don't really want, we don't really need that, because we'll be jessing that long before we uh, get anywhere. Um, <laughs> I'm always hesitant to say that it might be ready. Oh, no, yeah, we'll need uh, landing, uh, sort of launch support. Huh. Um, we also need to make sure that these all start sort of firing at the right time. Um, these all want to be. These are in fact these want to be in here like this. So we we'll start firing those. Uh, then we decouple. Because uh, it's all about sort of um, the order you do things. It's all control by space, right? So then we'll so we'll start firing the engines. Then we'll get rid of the supports. Then we will <laughs> decouple. Um, let's decouple two first. Uh, no, no, I want to separate that shit out. Okay, that one. That one. I don't know which side of the rocket they're on, so it could just all go horribly wrong. Oh god, no, we don't want the parachute being there. The parachute's got to be on its own. Um, up here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So there. Yeah, they... Right. Right. Oh, is this going to work? Is this going to work? I don't know. I don't know. What are we going to call it? Um. Um. Let's just call it... Um, oh god, I don't know what I want to call it now. The Rich Odyssey. I don't know how to spell Odyssey. <laughs> um, just ignore that. If it's terribly spelled, it'll be fine. Um, right, we'll, we'll save that and then we will we'll, we'll take it to a launch pad, shall we? Let's, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, well, of course, there's always. Oh, Rich Nick 12. Well. <laughs> It's not always the way. It's not a good sign.